Amadeo Modigliani was an Italian painter, draftsman, and sculptor. His style combines elements of expressionism, cubism, and abstraction. He was born in Livorno, Italy in 1884 and studied art in Florence and Venice. After graduating, he moved to Paris, where he spent most of his career, befriending artists such as Pablo Picasso and becoming part of the art scene. He had a long-term relationship with Jean Hébuterne, with whom he also had a daughter. She was his muse and appears in many of his works. In 1920, aged just 35, he died in Paris of tuberculosis, which was exacerbated by his persistent alcohol and drug abuse. Two days after his death, the pregnant Hébuterne jumped from the fifth floor of a house and also died. His oeuvre consists mainly of paintings and drawings. From 1909 to 1914, however, he mainly devoted himself to sculpture. The main motif in his paintings and sculptures is the human figure. His works are characterized by long, slender figures and elegant lines. The majority of his paintings are portraits. An early work is The Jewess, whose face is clearly worked out and stands out clearly from the blurred surroundings. In the portrait of Jacques Lipschitz and his wife, he abandoned the depiction of a character's psychology and created a representative portrait. He also painted many nudes. One of his first works is the painting Suffering Nude. Two of his most famous works are the reclining nudes, in which the eroticism is not overemphasized, but rather melancholically gradated. They are also reminiscent of Renaissance nudes. The standing nude, which was painted in much brighter colors of the time, is interesting. In this painting, turquoise takes the place of the dominant dark tones such as red. There are also several paintings with landscape motifs. It is estimated that Modigliani created a total of around 450 paintings and drawings. He also left behind sketchbooks in which he recorded his ideas. Although he received little recognition during his lifetime, today he is one of the best-known artists of the 20th century.